Hey, what's up? One of these, these look like uh, Cheetos. <laughs> I don't hate those things as much as I hate shipping popcorns, but I like anything that gets the item to me without damage or misuse of priority mail packaging. I'm not sure what it's from. I, I, it's it's part of a larger thing. It's like the nose cone for some sort of a rocket ship. Nice detailing to the side. I've definitely seen it around before uh, as a loose capsule. Sure that it was on something notable. And uh, interestingly, it is completely hollow. hollow. A mercury capsule. What's that there? That's just some adhesive. Oh my, I don't know where we left off. Here's the lawn and garden department with this thing that others insist cannot possibly be a uh, space capsule and is some sort of a hose attachment or other sort of accoutrement. Uh, the only two Gemini capsules I have is, as, as toy pieces. This is from Safari's Space Tube. And it's just a lump of uh, vinyl with some paint. And there's a processed plastics nose cone for a Gemini rocket. It's one of the reasons why I'm uh, curious as to whether or not their astronaut figure from Galaxy Laser Team does date back to the Gemini. He's wearing a Gemini spacesuit, so he's got to be a reason for it. Here's another processed plastics capsule or nose cone for an Apollo rocket. This thing's cool. I think it was a McDonald's uh, Happy Meal prize or, or whatever you'd call it. It's got the worm logo by NASA. There's more. This one isn't space tube, but it's similar quality. Uh, I'd love to know what this orange thing is. It appears to have, I think it was from one of those rescue, chopper rescue things, because it's got another notch like that on the other side of the tip. And I think you'd, you'd chop your thing over to it and try to lift it away. Here's a... Uh, LP Toys designed Apollo Command Module and Service Module uh, for a cake topper set. Galoob Micro Machines. This is interesting. This is an Apollo capsule. It's a squeezer. Pressure squeezer or whatever. I'd love to find out. What it's related to, NASA.gov. So maybe they sold it right out of the NASA website. There's the real toy Apollo capsule that I'm using in my space jockey collage. Uh, Japanese Gashafon Apollo Command Service module. There's another one from some cheapo toy set. One of my favorites is this pair over here where the capsule actually docks with a lunar module. Ah, Playvision is the name of the company that made this nice lunar module and command service module. Not sure if they're even in the right scale to each other. But it docks, and that earns a lot with me. And they also did this funky little one-person lunar rover. And they're using a pliable, stiff vinyl which is very interesting. Pretty sure they did some other vehicles and space figures as well. Awesome stuff. Yeah, here's what was missing. Additional Mercury capsule forms on the left by Lionel Trains from their astronaut crane car and LP Toys Mercury with chromed operator. Pretty sure that's a vintage. And then this uh, nice Mercury capsule by Mattel and Hot Wheels from an action pack for John Glenn, the Friendship 7. And you get two figures of him uh, in 1962 spacesuit and then the spacesuit that he wore when he went up on the shuttle. I think that was in 98.
Oh, China. And if you're interested, pop through my other videos from like two years ago. I think I opened it up on camera. If you recognize this as being a significant part of something special, give us a shout. Perfect size for some space artwork. Space capsule landing on some alien planet or something like that. And fascinating things going on. And as always, if you recognize what this thing is, please let me know. Because I gots to know.